the Bohemians threw two governors and Ferdinand's secretary out of the window of Prague Castle and elected a new king, Frederick of the Palatinate, a Calvinist. In the Catholic Habsburg's view, a heretic. The Bohemians knew that this was a provocation. They had no idea that it would start 30 years of war. Europe's new crisis area is the Palatinate. There are many reasons, strategic, political. The emperor wanted to make the Palatinate Catholic at all costs. His enemies wanted to prevent it. The war continued. The emperor needed money for that, a lot of money. The Prague businessman Hans de Witte was therefore entrusted with a top secret special assignment. Herr de Witte, wie macht man schnell viel Geld? Die alten, guten Silbermünzen werden nach und nach aus dem Verkehr gezogen und durch unsere neue, lange Münze ersetzt. Unser Profit ist gewaltig. Wenn dieses neue, schlechte Geld in Umlauf kommt, steigen dann nicht die Preise? Gibt es dann nicht Inflation? Gewiss. Und das sechs-, acht-, zehnfache. Und wenn es zu Unruhen kommt? Seine Majestät wird damit umzugehen wissen. What De Witte predicted would soon happen. Galloping inflation. Most contemporaries, even the emperor, did not understand what inflation meant. The price increases seemed like a sudden punishment from God. The emperor had to pull the emergency brake with currency reform. But the loose monetary policy served its purpose. The war machine was rolling, and with success. The Palatinate was occupied. German migrants, who became known as the Palatines, and were from several different regions, speaking different dialects and belonging to different religious sects, from the Protestant Lutherans to the Catholics. Religious persecution, bad harvests, and the hope of securing free land in America had brought the Palatines to England. In 1709, this area, which was then on the outskirts of London, became what was probably Britain's first refugee camp. Here at Blackheath, 13,000 German migrants made their camp. Parishes in England, by this time a Protestant nation, initially raised £20,000 to support the Palatines, as they believed they were Protestants, like themselves, fleeing Catholic persecution. What did they start discovering about them? The government trying to take a census of these people, they quickly learn that about a third of them are actually Catholic. And this really puts paid to the notion that they're simply Protestant refugees fleeing religious persecution. Some of them indeed had been affected and suffered various oppressions because of their religion, uh, but most were probably worried more about their, their economic conditions than about the sort of particular religious persecution that was going on. 3,000 Palatines were shipped to Ireland. 3,000 sailed to New York. Just 600 made it to North Carolina. And of the 6,000 remaining, some made their way back to where they had come from, and a few stayed to make a life in Britain. 